Amazon's getting serious about sound and have stepped up their game with the Echo Studio. This is definitely the best sounding Echo ever, but should you buy it? Hello tech friends, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Craig. I love new tech and seeing what it can do for us. If that sounds like something you're into, stick around. This is week 45 of my 2019 Echo series. Amazon's been improving on the sound of the Echoes over the past five years, and this is the biggest improvement to date. See, it's big. It's like as big as my head, and it's heavy. I'm sorry, Apple, but this might be the best sounding smart speaker on the market. The Echo Studio sound is great, and there are some really nice features but this may not be the right device for you. I think the studio falls into a weird spot. Let's talk about what it does, my experience with it. At the end, I'll share my likes, dislikes, and who I think this is really for. The Echo Studio at the time of recording this is $199 in the US. For what it does, it is very reasonably priced. The Echo Studio is a high fidelity speaker with 3D audio and Alexa built in. Like any other Echo, you get all the features that Alexa brings. You can ask questions, control your smart home, set alarms, and everything else you would expect from an Echo. It even has a built-in Zigbee hub for connecting smart devices that need a hub. The Echo Plus that has a Zigbee hub is typically $129.99. It was really all about the sound though. You could stream from supported services such as Amazon Music, Apple Music, Pandora, Spotify, Tidal, and others. The studio really shines though with high fidelity and 3D music. With Amazon Music HD, you can get 50 million songs in HD and a growing catalog of 3D music. There's a link in the description. Check that out if you wanna learn more about Amazon Music HD. It really is just a small upgrade from the normal Amazon Music. Now for video, the Echo Studio also supports Dolby Atmos. Dolby Atmos sound is typically a multi-speaker setup that gives you sound all around you. The way the Echo Studio is able to deliver great sound with 3D music and Dolby Atmos is magic. Okay, that's not it. It's really the combination of multiple speakers and the ability to automatically tune to the sound of the room it's in. The Echo Studio uses three two-inch mid-range speakers to fire sound from the left, the right, and up. It uses a one-inch tweeter to fire sound out the front and a 5.25 inch subwoofer speaker firing from the bass down. It is cool, Echo Studio will tune to the sound of the acoustics in the room you're in and give you the best sound it can. You do have adjustments that you can make within the app so you can fine tune it, but to get it started, it plays a little sound, analyzes the, uh, the room and gives you the best sound it can. Now my experience listening to music with this, the sound is impressive. It is definitely room filling sound. I wish you could be here in person because any sound I put on this video will not do it justice. With my eyes closed, I didn't feel like I was listening to one speaker. It felt like the sound was all around me. The really, these side speakers, the way it spreads out the sound is really impressive. I did check out the 3D music playlist that Amazon has and it's just, it feels like you're in the music. There's sound that was coming from here and here and it never felt like it was just coming from here. I also was listening to regular stereo music from Apple Music and was impressed by the sound. I played Pink Floyd's Money with my eyes closed and I could clearly hear the stereo sound. It just felt so huge. The left channel was coming from here. The right channel was from here. Vocals were down the center and it just mind blown. It was an amazing music experience. I know I'm messing around, but it really was a nice listening experience. I can only imagine what a second one of these would do to improve that experience. Overall, sound was really balanced. You get a lot of bass, great mid-range, and really clear highs. Plus, you can adjust all those levels within the app. Typically, I listen to music with earbuds in because I want to feel immersed in the music. With this, I was having a great time listening to music and just trying all different songs and getting lost into the listening experience, which is something I don't really do. For this video, I sat there with my eyes closed to really take it in. You don't smell sound, but you gotta take a deep breath to relax your ears. And then you take in the sound. Okay, I'm not an audiophile, so this is a horrible impression of me acting like I know how to listen to music. Now for video, you do get really great full stereo sound out of it for any content you're watching, 
But the big feature is Dolby Atmos. To get Dolby Atmos sound, you have to pair it with a Fire TV device and you have to watch content that has Atmos sound. You can't use this with Bluetooth to any other device and expect Atmos sound out of it. The streaming services that support Dolby Atmos are Apple TV, Netflix, uh, some Prime Video, and you got Voodoo. Well, you're not gonna be able to get Apple TV on there, so you won't be able to use this with that. You You'll could do it with Netflix, but Netflix, you gotta pay for the premium tier to get that Atmos sound. And even then, everything's not gonna have it. And only select like movies on Prime are going to have it. Now with two Echo Studios paired, you're gonna get even better Dolby Atmos sound out of it. The first thing I listened to with Dolby Atmos was the demo that it had, and it sounds like things were moving around you. It didn't sound like anything was behind me. I mean, it's one speaker, it does well, but can't work miracles here, but can't get greedy. Next, to test it out, I watched the movie Gravity to see if I noticed the Dolby sound out of it. The sound was so immersive and complimented the movie so nicely and just gave it really, I meant to sit down for like 10 minutes to test it and an hour and a half later when I had to stop watching the movie, I did. To watch Gravity, I was using Amazon Prime. Not all movies are gonna support it, but Amazon is starting to use Dolby Atmos with some of their series. So if you watch Jack Ryan, that's one, it sounds good. It really, it, it just really enhances the, the listening experience. It, instead of using my TV speakers in here or having to set up a whole separate surround sound in here, this really upped the game on it. So I was impressed by that. Now let's talk about the likes, dislikes, and who this may be for and why you may not necessarily want it. First, the likes. This thing sounds great. As I've been saying throughout this whole video, it is a great sounding speaker. A plus on sound. Disclaimer though, sound is subjective. You may listen to it and it doesn't work for you. The next thing I like, the price is great. For under $200, you get a high fidelity Echo that you can listen to HD music on and have Dolby Atmos sound with your movies. What more is there to say about it? Boom, mic dropped. Go buy yourself one. Okay, there are some things that I don't like about this, and this may not really be a dislike, but more of something to think about. Unlike other Echoes, like something like this, you could just stick this on the middle of the counter, and it's all gonna sound the same pretty much anywhere you go in it. This thing, I don't think is really meant for that kind of use, because there are front, left, right, top firing and down firing speakers on this. So it does sound amazing. You get a great listening experience, but I think that listening experience is closer to what you'd find from a traditional speaker. I think you're meant to sit in front of this thing so you can really get the sound as it's meant to be. That way, I feel like when you're off access, you're not getting the sound the right way out of it. But my real dislike, and this isn't a huge one. It is a huge one because the device is huge. And that's what it is. I think it's a really big device. And depending where you're using it, it might be too big. Like the idea, I have a 42 inch TV in here. This thing's kind of big. It like needs its own furniture. I have to put a shelf underneath it. And I don't know especially with the limited amount of content that you could get in the Dolby Atmos sound, I may be better off just having a sound bar underneath it. And putting this out in a living room or something, maybe if you don't have surround sound, these things are kind of big and bulky, so having two of those on pieces of furniture, I don't know, it might not be that aesthetically pleasing. I, it is huge, I mean, the HomePod used to feel kind of huge, but it's a little baby thing next to this. Uh, but that, that's not a deal breaker. It's not a quality thing. It's a size thing. Next thing for me that's kind of a dislike, it's not necessarily a deal breaker, but the Atmos audio isn't necessarily enough of a reason for me to go out and buy this because it is limited in, to certain streaming services at this point in time. Not all movies are in it on Amazon Prime and to be honest, I don't watch a lot of Prime movies. And Netflix, I'm not paying that top tier to get that sound. If I'm not getting the Atmos and I'm not buying this for HD streaming services or 3D music, you could be like me and maybe be better off with two of the new Echoes 
and have those paired with the Fire TV as a home theater and get stereo sound that way for the same cost as one of these. It would also be a smaller setup. So who is this for? Should you get one? This is a tough one for me. I see this as a great addition for someone who loves HD music or really loves listening to any music, but doesn't want a whole stereo set up in a room. For a single speaker, this thing is, it's incredible. It really is an awesome device and gives you a, it fills the room nicely. This is a great way to have one speaker and great sound in a room with no fuss. I do see this as possibly a soundbar replacement for watching TV, but in some cases it just might be too big and the soundbar might be a better choice. If you want surround sound and Dolby Atmos, this could be great. Two of these are cheaper than most Atmos certified setups, but I don't see replacing my sleek surround sound speakers that are tucked up in the corners of the room that give me true surround sound with two of these that simulate it. For me, it'd be a step backwards for the sound. You are getting a great sounding device, but it falls into a weird spot. Even if you're okay with the size, the look, I don't think it would be a device to get rid of a true audiophile sound setup or a movie lover surround setup because those are still gonna probably do a better job than this. I do feel like if you're really into music or movies, this might not be enough, but if you're a casual listener, it might be too much audio for you. I don't know, what are your thoughts on the Echo Studio? How would you use it? Let us know in the comment section. Next, make sure to check out this video over here to learn more about Amazon's Echo Buds. If you like this video, you know what to do. Also, please subscribe, come on back and click that bell so YouTube will tell you about the next video. Thank you for watching and have a great day, bye.